this operation now is actually something a little bit bigger. It's not actually just about my running. It is actually really day-to-day -day stuff. And the surgeon said to me on the phone, he said, you know, what we need to sort out with you, Rick, first is actually you need to get some kind of quality of life back into how you're working day-to-day -day and how you're doing things day-to-day. -day. I think the operation was a success, but it turns out they had to do quite a bit more work than they thought. I think it went okay. So I'm back home. The operation went pretty smoothly, but there was a lot more that they did that they weren't expecting to do. I say I'm home, yet yeah, this is my bedroom, living room, kitchen, and I've just had a flannel shower, which was interesting. Um, I've got these compression socks on, and I've got to wear these for four weeks to stop any blood clots and aid my recovery. The entry holes look pretty clean. Um, I've just got to sit here basically and do nothing. And for anybody who knows me, sitting in one place and doing nothing for weeks at a time sounds like one of the least likely things I'm ever likely to do. I mean, I can't really sit in a room for, I can't sit still for about a minute. So I really don't know how weeks and weeks so this is gonna go. <laughs> Good news, I managed to have my first shower on day four and that felt really nice. Um, I've also managed to take my bandage off uh, for the first time and it's given me a little bit of a bigger range in motion. Um, I made it up to the bedroom which was progress on my hands and knees. I just feel like I've been getting really frustrated though and I've been kind of bad company the last kind of 24 hours. Um, uh, just being unable to do anything and not weight bearing for four to six weeks just feels enormous. And uh, yeah, I just feel like I, I have to get Chantal to do everything for me and it's just quite hard work for her and last night I just came upstairs and just actually just felt a bit guilty and said I'm going to bed really early because uh, I say I came upstairs I hobbled upstairs on my bum backwards um, and yeah I just felt so this is like this is going to be a really long run. Um, anyway, I suppose it can only get better. Day five, and some really impressive bruises have come out today. And it's time to up the rehab. On the floor, getting some leg lifts in. Okay. To honest you, I actually really enjoy this because it means I actually get to do something. The rehab is my favorite bit of the day. So I think he's found it more challenging than he initially expected since he's been back. He's not one who uh, enjoys sitting on the couch for very long. He's not used to not being helpful around the house. And obviously with his recovery, he's had to be in one place. And um, I think he's finding that challenging. Um, also a bit uncertain as to what the long-term effects are going to be. We're still a bit unsure about that. Um, and especially as we've been told his knee is arthritic. Um, I guess we're just kind of going to take it day by day. Uh, but it's one thing I do know um, is when it comes to physio and rehab, that's something that Rick really excels at um, when he's got a goal in mind. Uh, so I know he's going to push really hard to get as much out of the rehab program as possible and hopefully get back to running soon. Right, new day, big day. I'm off to chat to the surgeon about exactly what they found and more importantly, what my prognosis is for future. I can't remember exactly what I was told after I came around from the surgery because I was pretty out of it. So I want to make sure that I remembered it correctly. Well, the operation went absolutely fine. Um, it was an arthroscopy, a telescope operation, um, to look inside the knee to see how, what the state of play was in the knee. Um, Rick had a torn medial meniscal cartilage. The more significant problem, though, was areas of damage to the joint surface, and that was partic particularly the case 
uh, behind the kneecap. There was one area of about one by one centimetre that was uh, completely denuded of cartilage and the surrounding area about, about three centimetres squared had much thinner cartilage than one would expect and that's unfortunately uh, the beginnings of an arthritic type of problem in the knee. I think getting back to normal day-to-day -day activity is almost a given. I think that would be very, very unfortunate for that not to happen. Um, in terms of getting back to some sort of sporting activity, I'd be very confident that you could do that, particularly the lower impact aspects of, of sporting activity. As to whether or not you'd be able to do high level running and Competing. particularly maybe maybe not there are examples of people who have had a, a similar knee injury uh, getting back to international level sport but they are more rarity than the norm if i can put it like that um, and it's certainly uh, not a given for any high level athlete to have a surgical procedure and then get back to high level performance sport um, as we've seen with Andy Murray and others over the, over the last few years. So I think time will tell. The surgery in itself I would say would be a technical success. Whether or not it will be a symptomatic success we'll have to wait and see. I have begun to feel a little bit more like myself in the last few days. That's because I know tomorrow I'm going to be getting my stitches out. I know that there is hope ahead that I'm not going to be sitting here with these things for much longer. Although my hands do absolutely wreck tonight. You probably can't see, but they are still bruised. That's from these crutches because today I did the longest walk I've done so far on crutches, which was all of 100 meters to the hairdresser at the top of the road. And yes, it has produced a cross between uh, Jedward and John Travolta after an electric shock. Apart from that, uh, I made it back in one piece, just. Mm. Um, and I feel like my knee, although it's not been causing me any pain, um, I feel like it's potentially ready to go to the next stage of rehab. Manny, hello. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. I survived. You okay, mate? Um, I know. I'm, I am. I'm all right. I am all right. I'm actually really happy to see your face. Obviously, the surgery uh, went well. Um, I think some of the stuff that the that they said to me afterwards was quite scary um, about how my knee is arthritic and. I've got to be, keep up the weight off it for you know minimum of four weeks, um, and I am you know I am concerned about how much I am going to be doing in the future, are going to be able to do in the future. What what I would say is the rehabilitation process and what we know um, in terms of the recovery process has evolved over time. We know that we can really build and develop as we discussed prior to your surgery your muscles that support your knee. And we have to remember that there are ways we can do that without loading the knee. So what about exercises wise? What should I be doing in these first couple of weeks? So you, you had some, some drills from and exercises from the hospital, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lifting my leg, lying flat and lifting it to 90 degrees and then going back to flat, 90 degrees and flat. And then also doing some little lifts. So above the, the straight ground, grade. straight grade, straight up. So about 30 degrees straight up, hold for two seconds and come back down uh, and do 12 of those. Those those are perfect. Now we need to think about the, the hip. So making sure you're bringing your knee, keeping it at a 90 degree angle, bring your knee up towards your chest, lying flat on your back. That's going to help mobilize your hip, okay? Uh, the other thing we want to do, we talked about the ankle pump so you can get that blood flow into your foot and, and it really helps with that blood flow in your car okay um, and the other thing that we really want to do is if you can lie on your front and also work your hip so lift your front. leg lie on your front and lift your leg okay how do you find lying on your front I haven't tried it yet okay there's, there's, no, there's no reason why you can't oh, as long okay. as it's not it's not painful as long as it's so not just, painful you know, yeah Again, all of all the exercises we provide you and, and, and guide you, we, we make sure that it's within your, your yeah. pain threshold and, and keep an eye on, on how you're doing there. Right, I feel reassured. Manny, um, thank you so much, mate. No worries, I'm excited to see your journey. It's amazing how tentative I've become about the most minor things. Manny suggested me doing 
an exercise where I lie on my front and try to put my, some weight through my thigh. And it just completely freaked me out, the idea of knocking it and setting my rehab back by weeks. The idea of running at the moment is such a foreign possibility. Even the concept of doing a 5K park run just seems like a world away for me. And I know I need to focus step by step on first, you know, getting back to, to walking. Um, at this stage, we don't even know if running is going to be uh, a possibility yet. So I just need to focus day to day and focus on my rehab and try and take my mind off the longer term stuff and just focus on the here and now. Right, so one thing I'm gonna try and do every day is some tricep dips. So I'm gonna start with five and increase by five every day until I get to 100 and then I'm gonna stick and plateau at 100 to try and keep some level of fitness because otherwise I'm gonna keep falling asleep about 2.30 every afternoon. <laughs> Almost three weeks now since the operation, I've had the stitches out, the knee's getting a bit more flexibility in it. I've started to use some weights on it. It's uh, almost two months since I last walked unaided. Um, look at the weather now, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it was winter uh, when I last walked properly, which seems a really long time ago. Uh, I've currently had a, a use of a chair for the last couple of days, which meant I've actually been able to get out to the house. Um, and go to the park, which is quite nice. Um, feeling like it's getting a little bit stronger, certainly because I'm building up those muscles um, around the knee. Uh, as far as weight wise, I'm putting around about 10 to 15% partial weight on the knee um, and then using the crutches as kind of uh, the majority of the support, but just putting that little bit of weight on the knee is certainly helping. And it does make you think that there is a light at the end of this kind of potentially nine month long tunnel. So, all good. My quads are not triggering. It's just quite concerning that I'm putting my weight through it and my leg is just not triggering because it's been so many months. <laughs> 